What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Twist Scarf Garchomp team to finish your guys' series too. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before we get started here with today's team preview, you guys know I got to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Kanto Clark. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for everybody to use. I will be linking his channel down in the description below, so definitely go check him out. Show him some jeans love over on his channel. But yeah, we got Iron Hands to get us started here with for today's team preview. And this one's Rock Quirk Drive and Citrus Berry. Sword Stance as one of its moves. And you guys know the power of his Pokemon when it sets up Sword Stance. It also has Drain Punch for Stab and HP Recovery, Fake Alpha Flinches, and Wild Charge. So I'm really liking this moveset. You can be very versatile with this Iron Hands. Fake Out Flinch, you get Sword Stance set up. It's pretty much the best of both worlds. We got Amoongus as our second Pokemon. Amoongus, you really can't go wrong with on the Rank Ladder. Great in Trick Room, great without Trick Room as just a support Pokemon and great at putting Pokemon to sleep and kind of controlling the match as well. It has Regenerator, the Covert Cloak as its item, Rock and Clear Smog for uh, the takeaway stat changes, and then Spore, Protect, and Rage Powder. Third Pokemon on today's team is going to be Old Reliable. It is going to be Arcanine over here. Arcanine is Old Reliable. You can never go wrong with this guy. It has Intimidate and the Safety Goggles, Rock and Flare Blitz, Will-O-Wisp, Snarl, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Fluttermane, one of the best Paradox Pokemon within Series 2. This one has Protosynthesis and Focus Sash, and then one of my favorite movesets for any Fluttermane. You got Dazzling Gleam, you got Shadow Ball, two of your stat moves, and then you got Imprison and Trick Room. Probably the easiest way to counter any Trick Room team is to just imprison it, so having this on this team is going to help us out tremendously. Our fifth Pokemon is going to be Sylveon. Great, solid Pokemon, very decent bulk, very good special attack. Great Pokemon all around with Pixelate and the Throat Spray. Use that uh, Hyper Voice to actually pop the Throat Spray, get the plus one on Special Attack, and then your Sylveon's just hit harder for the rest of the match. It also has Terror Blast, Protect, and Quick Attack for first time priority. I'm loving this moveset. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Garchomp. So ever since Series 2 kind of came out, you've been seeing less and less of Garchomp, but this Garchomp is looking like it's going to be really good. It's got the Choice Scarf, so it can outspeed moves, and then it has a great Terror type of Steel. It also has Ruskin as its ability, and then a great moveset with Iron Head, EQ, Stomping Cantrum, and Rock Slide. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to grab some wins with this Choice Scarf Garchomp Series 2 team. First match coming at you guys. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Going up against a Roar Moon team, also with Sandy Shocks, and then they got Palafin, Golden Go, and two support Pokemon with Murkrow and Amoongus. So I could actually pop Trick Room here if they do go into Murkrow. So I feel like Fluttermane is going to be a great call all around. Since they're going to Tailwind, we can obviously just set up the Trick Room and kind of just counter that for a couple of turns and get after it. So I do kind of like Fluttermane. Fluttermane is definitely a solid lead. Counters a lot of different Pokemon here as well. So Fluttermane, you're in here. I could also go into my boy Iron Hands. Iron Hands is not too shabby here. I don't mind a little bit of Iron Hands action. So I think I'm going to go Iron Hands here alongside with the Fluttermane. So two, both are Paradox Pokemon. I'm liking that. We can also go into Sylveon here or even Garchomp. I kind of like Garchomp for uh, the Steel type Pokemon with Golden Go. And it works well on that Sandy Shock. So I'm all about Garchomp here. Garchomp's going to work well. And then last but not least, we could go into a support Pokemon or we can go into Sylveon. And I'm kind of leaning towards more so of a support Pokemon like Arcanine or maybe even Amoongus just because we have a lot of attack power on the team. So I'm going to go Amoongus here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. And Amoongus is going to be solid here if uh, if we do end up deciding to pop Trick Room. Because if they go Murkrow and they go Tailwind, I wouldn't mind going into a Trick Room. It would really help us out. So I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So let's see who they end up leading. That's pretty cool. Uh gamer profile pick for Pokemon Scarlet Violet. That little, uh, what was that, Glalie? Just chilling in the background. I liked it. But they end up going Palafin alongside with Golden Go. So Golden Go and Palafin come out here. Uh, I mean, they're definitely just gonna hard swap the Palafin, but into who? Who are they gonna hard swap it into? So instead of a fake out, we could just go for a wild charge, and I think wild charge might be the play here. Or I could just straight up Sword Dance. Ooh, Sword Dance could be good too. Lovely little Sword Dance could be the play. And just terrestrialize you and Shadow Ball you? I can get down with that. I can definitely get down with that. Because you're definitely, you're definitely swapping the Palafin, right? Yeah. So there's no point of even faking out. We'll just set up a Sword Dance here. We shall just set up a Sword Dance and Amoongus comes out here. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. As long as I get these boosts going here. I'm going to end up terrestrializing. Just so Make It Rain doesn't do a crazy amount of damage on me, right? 
to make it rain would kill me. I could actually save my Terra and just focus Ash out, which could have been a play, but I like to, I like to rationalize him right now. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. So we opt for the sword dance instead of the fake out, which is a great call. Predicting the swap, and he ends up just protecting gold to go. So this is just free sword dance play. And now our opponent's a little upset. Now our opponent's like, come on, man. You really setting up a sword dance? Let's do it. Let's do it. Bang, bang, bang. Yo. Iron hands with sword dance. It kind of came through the second half of series two, and it's been crazy strong. It really has been. It's been great. But I'm just gonna go for another shadow ball. And could go for wild charge. I think I'm just gonna drain punch the Amoogus, right? I mean, they both do a good amount of damage, but I feel like we're gonna take some nice damage over onto our uh, over onto our Iron Hands. So I'd rather get some HP back at this moment. The Rage Powder does end up coming through here. That's totally fine. You going for a Make It Rain? What are you going for with Gold to Go? That's the real question. The Shadow Ball is gonna fly through here, chunk up some nice damage, and then we're gonna go. Ooh, that's a little scary. You are a little scary, so we need to get rid of you. I'm hoping Wild Charge can just KO that. I'm gonna Drain Punch here. Almost pick up the KO. Kinda hurts that I didn't pick up the KO there. And I get a nice little bit crit. And then this thing's eating a berry. So I'm hoping a Shadow Ball can still KO. I think it can. I think Shadow Ball can definitely still KO. But obviously I wanna throw it to the Golden Ghost slot. Then I'm just gonna Wild Charge that thing down. Cause if we can hit this thing, that'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. And a bad turn from us would be if it protects here and it spores one of my Pokemon. That'd be a big time play, but I just think doubling down into it while it's nicely potted up is the play. Because I do think Rage Powder comes out yet again. I do think Rage Powder pops out here again. So what I'm hoping here is Shadow Ball with KO. Oh no. How dare you? Yeah, dude, this is a solid play from our opponent. Really solid play. Let's be double down. I should have I should have threw one into that slot. Just in case it didn't Rage Powder. The Shadow Ball should have went into that slot, right? The Shadow Ball should have went into the movie slot, no problem. And there's a Spore. The Spore comes out here. Um, okay, we're asleep. I still got my Swords Dance up. I'm just gonna drain, I'm just gonna kill the Moogus. I'm just going to finish off the Moogus. Gonna finish off the Moogus with a Drain Punch here. We'll get it gone. And then we'll go from there. But I do think Rage Powder might even come out here, and it doesn't. So you're going for another Spore here, aren't you? And that's you. Oh, no. Whoa. Chill. Chill. That ain't right. That ain't right at all. Drain Punch flies, and we get rid of a Moogus. That ain't right at all. This thing is plus four on special attack. Which is absurd. I can definitely see a Terrasalize, and Palafin might even come back out here. Right? Hmm. Sandy Shocks. Ooh. A little scary. I got Guard Chomp in the back end for both these guys with Choice Scarf, which could be all oh, beautiful. But again, I'm kind of worried about what Terror type these are, these Pokemon are going to go into. So I'm going to go for Shadow Ball here. I'm going to go for Drain Punch just into the Sandy Shock slot, right? I wonder if he's going to Terrasalize. He does not, and my Fluttermane is still slumped. My Fluttermane is still slumped. Are you, what are you doing here? You go into Earth Power there. That's fine. I Sash up, and now you make it rain. Again. I can definitely see that happen. I make it rain coming out here. But I can recover some nice HP back. And take out Sandy Shocks at the same time. Yeah, there's a make it rain here. He sells Terra and oh wow. That damage absurd. 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 He gets rid of my Fluttermane. We still have two Pokemon. We have Amoongus in the back end, which could be good. And we have Garchomp. And I also have a Citrus Berry here, which is great. So Citrus Berry definitely gonna clutch up here. Big time Citrus Berry HP. We get back 60. Plus we're gonna drain punch. Take out Sandy Shocks. And get back a bunch more HP. Did we go back to full? No, we got up to 193. But we can eat up another Make It Rain. That thing is not plus 4 anymore. It's only plus 3. And from here, they're forced to go in the Palafin, right? They are forced to go in the Palafin. So I feel like... I don't know who's going to Terra. That's the problem. I don't know who's going to Terra. I don't know who's going to Terra. Considering this Golden Go has not Terrasalized yet. But I feel like it has to go, because Garchomp, could Garchomp 1v1 it? Probably not. But we can get off some big damage. I could clear Smog this thing if I... Ooh. Oh, it has no effect. Oh my god. That hurts the soul. That hurts soul. I think I'm, I'm thinking I'm just Rage Pattern, right? And just trying to KO the Golden Go here? It's gotta be my play. Gotta be my play is to try to KO the Golden Go. I'm surprised they haven't Rasslash yet, right? Palafin protects. Okay, cool. 
But each patch can come out here. They might go for another make it rain. But we if we could just take out Golden Go here, I feel like we're sitting in a decent spot here. Because Palfin has no double hitting moves. So there goes a make it rain. Iron Hands should be able to eat. Iron Hands does. Wow. Amoongus gets dumped on. And we might lose this match. Again, I don't think that my Garchomp can 1v1. Because two Jet Punches might KO us. Because we KO here, but then we're dead to recoil damage. Oh my lord. My Amoongus really got ripped on like that? That hurts so. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. But now, again, it's a 1v1 situation. We have the Choice Scarf. What move do we use? EQ? EQ's gotta be the play, right? Because if you're just going for Jet Punches, I gotta go for as much damage as I possibly can. Rock Slide don't matter. We gotta go for EQs. EQs are only play. Jet Punch is terrifying here. And they have Terrasalization, yeah. Game set match. Unless they tear it into some dumb typing here. But I'm guessing it's straight water. Yep, straight water. Two jet punches, no problem. Maybe one, right? He's gonna bring me down low. He's gonna bring me down low with this with this wave crash or whatever you're using. EQ comes in hot here, so he wasn't jet punching. And yeah, we, we would need two anyway. I mean, we would need three EQs to actually KO. So that's gonna be game, set, match. Wave crash coming out here. Yeah, absolutely ripping into me. Picking up the KO, no problem. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. First match, really good all around. Great plays from both sides. We end up losing, so you guys know the deal. We're going to hop into a second match and look for a first victory. Second match coming at you guys, going up against Tinkaton team. Also, I have Hydreigon. They also have Iron Hands, Dragonite, and then Arcanine. And last but not least, Amoongus. So, Sylveon, really not bad here. Super effective on the three. I really do like Sylveon. And I also do like Fluttermane. The fairy type Pokemon definitely could carry us here. So, I think I'm going to lead one of them. I got to lead one of them, right? Might also lead the Iron Hands. Iron Hands could be great, but I could definitely see him leading a Pokemon like Tinkathon, right? Could go Arcanine. I mean, Arcanine's not bad. Arcanine is not terrible. So, you know what? I am going to go Arcanine. And do I go in with a Fairy-type Pokemon? Do I go in with one of my Fairies? Problem is, if they lead Tinkathon, the Hammer can just come down on me and rip into me. Hmm. They have Terra Blast flying. Not bad. Not bad. But I think Iron Hands going to be a Pokemon. I think we're going to go Iron Hands, Arcanine, and then bring in Double Fairy? Or I could bring in one Fairy and uh, other Garchomp. I might even lead Garchomp. Garchomp's not bad here with the Choice Scarf. Garchomp is not terrible. Actually, we're just going to bring Garchomp in the back end. Sylveon, you're not coming in here. It's all good. It is all good. Even though I like Sylveon here, I just feel like Garchomp is going to be a little better for us considering we already have Fluttermane in here. So, instead of doubling down on Fairy, we'll have a Pokemon to kind of counter the Arcanine, the Iron Hands, and even the Tinkathon. Super effective on all three of them with ground moves. And, if we're not choosing to a ground move, we'll also be super effective on the Dragonite or Hydreigon with the, our Dragon moves. We, we end up going into both of these Pokemon. Intimidate's going to do some wonders onto you. I could Snarl turn one, which I'm thinking of doing. And, instead of figuring out, I might go for the Swords Dance. I might dance up with the Swords. I might dance up with the Swords. There's snow. I think I'm just gonna flare blitz here. I think I'm just gonna flare blitz and go for the fake out into you. That's what I'm gonna do. Instead of sword dancing, I'll just go for the fake out. If he ends up faking out me, I'm gonna go for this flare blitz and just absolutely dump into this Pokemon. And he's gonna focus energy up. So that's a little scary. We, we don't really like that too much. The good thing I didn't snarl, right? Good thing I did not snarl. So we get rid of Tinkathon, but he kind of gets his value out. And yeah, definitely good thing I did not snarl. Because if I would have snarled and he just focused energy up, he would have he's gonna be critting now. And with the crits. Oh, that's gonna hurt right there. And with the crits, it would just uh neglect the special attack drops. So he ends up going into Arcanine here. I feel like just Drain Punch is probably your play. And I might even swap you into a Pokemon like Fluttermane. Someone that we could just straight up outspeed, right? This is not a bad call. Yeah, I'm just going to swap into you, and I'm just going to go for a straight Drain Punch into this slot. Because if Hydreigon does not Thrasalize, this could do some big time damage. So we'll see what it wants to do. So we hard swap into Fluttermane. We want our Intimidate back, and show me no Thrasalization yet. Cool, no Thrasalization yet, and this might KO me. You got to crit. We ate. We ate. We ate. And we have Citrus Berry. We ate, and we have Citrus Berry. That just goes to show how bulky Iron Hands is. Now we're up to 93. What are you going for? You're going for a foil blitz. Can we soak this up? We soaked that up. Yo, Citrus Berry clutching up. Clutching up. I know we're minus one, but this Drain Punch should still KO, right? No, it doesn't. Ouch. 
It does not, but still, we get back a ton of HP, and now we're sitting in a very, very good position. A very, very good position, because I don't think he terrestrializes Hydreigon. I really don't think he terrestrializes his Hydreigon. And I actually got to go for another Drain Punch here, and I just double down to Arcanine with Dazzling Gleam flying into the Hydreigon slot. Again, I don't see him terrestrializing that, but yo, Iron Hand soaking up. Soaking up, thanks to that Citrus Berry. Thanks to that Citrus Berry. He ends up protecting Hydreigon. That's totally fine. I'm thinking of just Shadow Balling it next turn, and the reason being, it might Terrasalize now. His options, they just have a lot of options. So Gleam flies through there, does a little bit of damage, Flare Blitz gonna fly into this slot, okay. Brings me out Focus Ash, don't burn me, don't you burn me, don't you burn me, don't you do it, don't you do it. Cool, did not do it, that would have been heartbreaking. But Drain Punch, chipping up some nice damage, I feel like from here we just Drain Punch the Arcanine again. To pick up the KO, and then we just go into a Shadow Ball into that Hydreigon slot. Just in case it wants to swap. Hmm. Or Terrasalize. That's what I was thinking. But, you know, I'm just going to go into Gleam again. So I'll Gleam, and I will I'll also double down to Arcanine slot. Wait, which all's Arcanine? Who are you going into? That's the real question. It's going to be Amoongus. It's actually a great Pokemon there. But you don't really have enough attack power to kind of beat me now. Right? And there's the Terrasalization. That's why I want the Shadow Ball. That is why I want the Shadow Ball. I should have done it. I should have done it. They don't have too much attack power here. Shadow Ball would have KO'd. I don't think Gleam's going to KO now. It'd be nice if it does. But I think this Pokemon's going to get off one more shot. The Gleam flies here. Does not KO. Brings it down the red. And Heat Wave's going to fly here. So Heat Wave's going to KO my, uh, my Flutter Main. My Iron Hands, I was going to say, should survive. But I forgot. It's crits all around with Focus Energy. And now we're sitting here with Choice Garchomp, which I really like. And last but not least, we have... Who was our last Pokemon? Arcanine. Okay. So here's the problem. Here's the problem. I want to choice into a ground move, but I can't, right? I simply can't. I simply cannot. I have to choice into a dragon move. And the problem here is we can't protect and Amoogus is going to go for a rage power. But I have the Flare Blitz and I cannot protect, man. I mean, I do have Rock Slide. Ooh, Rock Slide's great. We're going to have choice in Rock Slide. I totally forgot we had this. I totally forgot because we know Rage Powder. Ooh, you're, gonna go in, you're just going to withdraw. I thought a Rage Powder into like a Draco Meter should come out here. But this works fine. As long as we land a Rock Slide, it should be game, set, match. Zarkonine's low HP. He just wants to Intimidate. That's fine. Rock Slide should still do enough damage to take out the Arcanine. Flare Blitz should still do a crazy amount of damage on for the Moongus. And yeah, I think we're rocking out with this battle. We land this rock slide. We are choice too. So again, we have speed on these Pokemon. We have speed. This should take out Arcanine no problem. See you later. And Hydreigon's low enough where we can take it out. So we just need to land our rock slides, right? We just need to land our rock slides. And it's looking pretty good for us. Like I said, Garchomp in the back end is just so good. It's just so good. With this choice scarf, you just outspeed most Pokemon. You have a great move pool that is super effective onto a bunch. With the ground moves, this is dragon moves and the iron moves. Or steel moves, my fault. But from here, it's just a simple Flare Blitz. You cannot Thrasilize. Back into the Rock Slide. Oh, we don't even have a Dragon move. I just realized that. We don't even have a Dragon move. But this this is rocking out fine for us. The Hydreigon's going to end up protecting here. Oh, no. This could be bad. This is actually a really smart play. He's going to put me to sleep. He is definitely going to put me to sleep. He would definitely put me to sleep. Give me a flinch. Give me a flinch. Give me a flinch or just a crit here. Give me a flinch. Give me something. Give me something. Help me out. Flinch it. Wow. That's some big time damage with the recoil and all that. You have to spore me. Okay. Okay. Kind of scary. Kind of scary, not going to lie. You're not focus energy anymore, but you're, you're back on the plus board. So I could go for the Snarl KO. I don't think Snarl is going to KO, though. You got to go for Snarl Rock Slide, right? This is terrifying, man. No way we lose this battle. That's a great play by him. That's the only problem with the choice. That's the only problem with the choice, Pokemon. Only problem with the choicey. And that Intimidate was big. Swapping back into that Intimidate. Wow, yo. Our opponent's playing really good. If we lose this battle, that'd be rough. The Garchomp's still asleep. Alright, can I? Can you outspeed and at least get off the Snarl first? Drake and Meteor comes out. You're going to take out you. I just need to wake up, right? Oh, you're gonna pollen puff, aren't you? You're gonna pollen puff, aren't you? You're gonna heal him up. Oh no. 
How much HP are you getting back? Wow. Oh my lord. This is awful. This is awful. This is awful. Really? Put me to sleep? I'm gonna lose this match. I'm gonna lose this match. I'm really upset because I'm playing great today. I'm playing really good. I'm playing really good and I'm gonna lose my first two matches. Hurts the soul. Definitely hurts the soul. Unless you can wake up. Nope. I'm gonna be sleeping another turn after this. Hopefully you can miss this Draco Meteor. You're just gonna pop up. Oh, nope. You're going for a focus anyway. That's lovely. So we're dealing with a full HP Hydreigon again. We we're gonna need a little bit of flinch help here, right? And we need to wake up right now. Right now we gotta wake up. Right now we gotta wake up. It's terrible. Because if <laughs> this thing lands Draco Meteor, it's game set match. But H Powder comes in here. We again we need to wake up right now. Right now. And I told you, we were asleep for three turns. It's no problem. Of course we are. Draco Meteor comes out here and he's landing Draco Meteors left and right. Hasn't missed one. That's game. Can't believe we lost that match. I simply can't believe. Cannot believe it. But that was some great plays by our opponent. We end up losing that one. We're 0 2. We got to hop into our third and final battle and grab ourselves some victory. Third and final match coming at you guys. And my back's up against the wall. We're 0 2. This is the real deal. We have to win this match here. Going up against a T Tar team with Talonflame, Iron Bundle, Fluttermane, Great Tusk, and Amoongus. All right, it's time. Let's get after it. Let's do it. I could lead Garchomp here. Garchomp's not a bad lead. We brought Garchomp in two battles and we lost two. But I I, I like it. I like the Chomp. But the Choice Carp, very fast. It should be able to outspeed maybe the bundle. No, it can't outspeed the bundle if it's booster energy. If it's booster energy, we can't outspeed it. Um, hmm. Iron Hand's not bad for Fake Out again. I don't mind that. Sylveon's not bad here either. I really like the I really like the double fairy. The double fairy is where it's at. So we're gonna go Iron Hands, Double Fairy, and Chomp. That's gonna be the team. But what order do I want to lead in? I definitely want Iron Hands for the lead. Um, Sylveon's not bad to pop through Spray Turn One. I kind of can get down with that. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go Sylveon. I'm gonna go Fluttermane. I'm gonna bring the Choice Scarf Chompy Chomp in the back end. So I can definitely see him leading a Pokemon more so like Titar. But if they Terrasilize into Flying, which is most likely the Terror type, we can just Wild Charge it. But if they stay, we can just straight up hit it with a Fairy move with our Sylveon. But yeah, those first two matches, I'm upset, yo. So close. Came down to the wire. I, I seriously thought we had match number two in the bag, and our opponent made some great plays. Swapping him with the Intimidates, put me to sleep, protecting the Hydreigon at the perfect time. Focus energy was clutching up. Everything about it was just money. Everything about it. But he ends up going into Talonflame and Fluttermane. And from here, I mean, we could just fake out if I want to. I think I could be the play. Lovely little play. I think Terrasilizen would be good here as well. Hmm. I mean, Terrasilize Wild Charge prior play. I'm just gonna hyper voice. I am just gonna hyper voice here. I am just gonna hyper voice. So let's see what our opponent does. We're Terrasilize in the grass. I don't feel like taking that fairy damage, right? Really, really scary on my Iron Hands. Would not like it one bit. So Grass is gonna be our terror type. I know Talonflame's on the field, but that's exactly why we're wild charging into a turn one. Just to try to get rid of it. So I can see a Tailwind coming out here. I can definitely see like something other than that. Yeah, see? Like Willow is coming out here. That's fine, you can burn me. Talonflame's a little on the weaker side defensively, so Wild Charge should still do a nice chunk of damage. And Shadow Ball's gonna fly here. Ooh, 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 me no lucky that. Me no lucky that. And of course you get the special defense drop. I was gonna say, we should be able to eat up another one. But of course with that, we can't now. So I could end up hard swapping if I want to. But I like the third spray boost, I really do. The special defense drop, hurting the soul though. Wild charge should KO, like I said. It should. Yeah, get it on out of here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Even with the burn, we're KOing no problem. Get that thing on out my face. So Fluttermane's here. Fluttermane's a problem. I think Bundle does come out here and is able to just freeze drive me down. Kinda sucks, but be like that. We're gonna just hope that he ha doesn't bring the bundle, but we already know it's coming out here. Yep, there it is. <laughs> There's the bundle. We, we already know it's coming out here. The bundle's a problem. Bundle is a problem. What could I do here? I could just protect Sylveon and let my Iron Hands go down here, or I can hard swap into like a Guard Chomp. No, that would not be the play here. Hmm. Maybe take off. No, you are you don't mm. this is tough news. I'm just gonna go for a drain punch And yeah, this is tough news 
This is tough news. This is tough news. Real tough news. I'm just going for another hyper voice, I guess. A free strike comes out here. Can you soak somehow? Probably not. You do. Wow, you actually soaked really well. You actually soaked really well. We have the Citrus Berry. Shadow Ball is probably going to KO my Sylveon. Good thing we stayed in there. I always underestimate how bulky this Pokemon actually is. The Shadow Ball. Oh, you're going to double down on this. Can you eat that? Oh, that would have been gorgeous. If you would have ate that Shadow Ball, that would have been amazing. And I was thinking about protecting the Sylveon. I was thinking about it. But I didn't. I did not. So Hyper Voice is going to fire. We're plus one on Special Attack. Chipping up some- Oh my god, Sylveon, I love you. Taking out the Iron B. That's just big time plays from us. Big time plays, keeping the Sylveon there. And from here, Chomp out speeds. Chomp out speeds of Fluttermane. Chomp is, is a perfect time to get Chomp out here. I can EQ if I want to. And you're gonna bring out the Tusk. The Tusk comes out here. And I'm gonna bring out the Chomp. But the real question is, do I quick attack the Great Tusk? I think I do. I think I quick attack the Great Tusk. It might, it might Terrasilize here, though. I could choice to an EQ instead of an Iron. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be my play. I'm going to choice into an EQ. I'm definitely... I'm choosing into the EQ. And I'm just going to protect you. Choice in an EQ. So we should be able to outspeed both here. He does not end up Terrasilizing, right? He didn't use his Terra yet. I don't believe so. And now EQ flies here. EQ is going to take out the Flutter main, And now we're sitting in just like a perfect position here. This match is GG. Game, set, match. No problem. Our opponent's not making a comeback here. It's game. It is game. And what are you going for? You're going for an EQ yourself. Garchomp should be able to soak that. And on top of that, my Sylveon can get off a quick attack next turn. Game, set, match. And we have Fluttermane in the back end, which is gorgeous. So 2-1 for today's video. We're locking it in. We're locking it in. We're not losing this battle. The quick attack's going to come out here. It's super effective right now. And you're not even going to try slides. And that actually did a lot less than I thought it would. That's so funny. EQ flies out here. Might even KO or Sylveon. We don't KO or Sylveon. But now you KO both our Pokemon, which is totally fine. Again, we have Fluttermane with the Focus Ash in the back end. That's why I did not mind choosing the EQ. I just want to get off as much damage as I possibly can onto the Great Tush. Just keep ripping into it and then bring off Fluttermane and win this match. And this thing's orbed. This thing's life orbed. So it's a guaranteed victory because you can't one shot us with the Focus Ash. And if you hit us, you're going to take life orb damage and, and kill yourself. So it's game set match. From here. I might just imprison just to like make a joke. And I think that's what exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna imprison. <laughs> I'm just gonna imprison. Oh no, they cancel battle. That's hilarious. But one and two for today's video. Great set of matches. One and two for today's video. Grab yourselves the losing record. But again, all three matches were absolutely amazing. The first two matches we ended up losing, it, but our opponents made some amazing plays and kept it down to the wire. Came very, very close. Could have definitely went either way. But that third and final match, we just dominated it. Rocked out with our Sylveon and our Fluttermane. And Garchomp got some love today. So can't really go wrong with today's recording. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.